BMAT past papers are your best friend for every part of the BMAT exam. Past papers from 2003 to the present day are freely available, which provides loads of practice opportunities. These should be your main resource throughout your preparation, because while specific questions may vary each year, the question styles, tricks and pitfalls repeat again and again. So, you've been working away at the past papers, and it's become clear that you're not quite as strong at physics questions compared to biology. Well, don't worry. Whatever your areas of strength and weakness are, we've created the BMAT Past Paper Subject Guide, which lets you focus your preparation on the areas where you need that extra practice. Officially, BMAT Section 2 is restricted to GCSE content. However, it is fairly likely that you'll have to call upon some of your AS or A2 level knowledge to answer a number of the questions. This is because BMAT are able to call upon any of the content from any of the GCSE exam boards. So while some students may have covered a certain topic at GCSE, you might not encounter that topic until your A-levels or even university. Rather than trawling through all the GCSE specifications from all the different exam boards, Cambridge Assessment have kindly created the BMAT Section 2 Assumed Subject Knowledge Guide. Make sure you utilise this free resource and focus on any areas that you're less familiar with. Unfortunately, this one's too good to share at this point. But don't worry, attend a Blackstone Tutors Intensive BMAT course, a bespoke BMAT course, or an in-school BMAT course, and you will learn all the necessary techniques for the common BMAT Section 2 question types, as well as receiving our 300 page BMAT resource guide. Knowing the past paper answers isn't enough. In fact, it isn't even a start. The BMAT past paper questions are almost never repeated in subsequent years. However, the question styles and techniques are. So make sure that you use the BMAT past paper work solutions in order to understand the logic behind each of the answers, as well as the most efficient techniques for each question type. So when the question style from 2003 is repeated this year, you won't remember the 2003 answer. Instead, you will recall the technique you used to get that answer. With 27 questions and only 30 minutes, BMAT section two is extremely time pressured. Always keep in mind the one minute rule. Any question likely to take longer than a minute should be left until the end. And make sure you always practice under timed conditions to help you complete this vitally important section. To assist you with efficient BMAT Section 2 preparation, we've compiled a list of the essential BMAT Section 2 preparation resources in one place.